I'm Kelly Sandrick, Managing Editor of Utility Products Magazine, and I'm on the Distribute Tech 2009 show floor in sunny San Diego. Today I'm talking to John Alobri, Director of Sales and Marketing for AEMC Instruments. Good morning. Hi, how are you today? Good, yourself? Great. So can you tell me about some of the products that you're showing yep. this week? Today we're, uh, at this show, we're featuring a brand new product. It's a, a product designed for testing the ground resistance integrity of any type of ground system, but in particular, a transmission tower. It's the only one on the market today that we can effectively check the resistance of the entire tower without the need to disconnect the overhead ground conductor. So you don't need a crew with a bucket truck, you don't have to create an unsafe condition, and we can get an effective result in minutes where it would normally take them hours. Now, are there any unique features and functions that are not found in similar products? Well, that, that's the major one. The, the fact that we use these high sensitivity sensors, and if you don't mind, let me grab one over the real one. Uh, this is just a scale model, but these things are really about 24 feet long. And we put them around the base of the tower, and they're very, very high sensitive uh, current probes. We'll inject the signal into the tower, a very specific frequency, a very specific voltage, and we'll pick up the current flow from each leg back through to ground. And this is a, is a proprietary uh, box that will pick up the signal from each of the sensors, amplify it, feed it to the instrument, and give us the test result. This is a unique feature of the ability to sense extremely low currents and calculate resistance. It, that, that gives you stability to do this test without disconnecting anything. Right. Okay. Well, what are some of the other functions and features that you can tell me about? The, uh, this, this is a high-end ground tester. We can check bond resistance. So we can, we can check the quality of the resistance anywhere on a tower or anywhere on any grounding system. We can do the traditional what's called a three-pole fall of potential test where the operator drives three rods in the ground and, and measures uh, the ground resistance of any system doesn't have to be a tower. That's a standard function. We also have a unique feature that we call we call it three pole plus a clamp. You can it's very good for substation monitoring. You 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 put your auxiliary rods in like you normally would, and then you just take this clamp and you go around at different points, and you can find bad spots w without having to move all the wires all the time. Right. And then we also test what's called soil resistivity. Before you install a ground system, you want to know how receptive is that soil for uh, ex absorbing electricity. And so that, that's a function we do there. And then, what, and then the major feature of it, the, what we call a ground flex method, where we use these sensors to, to uh, measure the resistance of towers. And the other thing that's kind of unique about this is we, we do this all automatically. A lot of the other products the operator has to take the results and then apply them to a formula to get the answer. Here the formulas are all built in, you get the answer right away. Oh, that's much easier then. <laughs> yes. Now who would be the primary users of a product like this? In the electric utility world, it'll be the transmission engineer who's, who's responsible for the towers. It'll be the substations maintenance people if it's a substation related work. Uh, in the industrial arena, it'll be the plant maintenance people or uh, independent contract is doing tests for the uh, plant maintenance. Okay. So are there any any cost savings to the users of these products? Major cost saving for the tower testing uh, because you don't need a three or four man crew with a bucket truck to go up the tower to disconnect the wire. Uh, you will do the test in about 15 minutes as opposed to about two hours doing it the other way. Cuts down so, on mound power. So your, your payback for a product like this if you used it weekly, about three or four months, you paid for the cost of the instrument in oh, wow. saving in uh, labor. Right. Oh, that's very impressive. Great. Well, I really thank you for talking to us today. Well, thank you for your and time. And I hope you have a wonderful show. Well, thank you very much. Thank Thanks you for so coming much. by. For more information, please visit Technical.